Hello friends, welcome to the third part in my series on the cholinergic system. Remember to check out the blog post mentioned below in the description of this video to get a more detailed understanding of the cholinergic system as well as to get access to my exhaustive literature review with over 200 citations in total. Each video has a, a short blog post connected to the video topic. In this video, I will be talking about how uh, choline is turned into a neurotransmitter in the body. So choline is combined, uh, well, to begin with, uh, vitamins B1, B2, B3, and B5 are used to produce something called acetyl-CoA out of either glucose or if you're fat adapted, out of uh, ketones. Acetyl-CoA is then um, uh, combined with choline to make something called acetylcholine. Uh, what happens is the acetyl-CoA uh, produce adds the acetyl group and choline comes together with it to become this neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Now, when acetylcholine exists in the nervous system and in the brain in particular, uh, when it gets into the synaptic cleft, it is then uh, broken down by an enzyme called acetylcholinesterase. Acetylcholinesterase cleaves the acetyl group from the choline, uh, from the acetylcholine, to produce separate forms of uh, acetate and choline. Uh, therefore, this enzyme is very important because it, limit, it limits the amount of choline available in the brain, of acetylcholine, the neurotransmitter. Now your body, as you may know if you watch my other videos, uh, your body has two uh, nervous tones. One is called the sympathetic nervous tone and one is called the parasympathetic nervous tone. The sympathetic nervous tone is often called the fight or flight nervous tone and the parasympathetic nervous tone is sometimes called the feed and breed or the rest and digest nervous tones. Now the neurotransmitter acetylcholine is the primary neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic, that is the feed and breed, the restful nervous tone. Um, in fact, uh, it's very involved in uh, a bunch of new, uh, processes in our bodies, such as sensory processing, sleep, arousal, uh, as well as, and most important for our discussion in this series, attention. Now, in the peripheral nervous system, acetylcholine is excitatory, which is one reason that you'll find many studies show that alpha-GPC, the common nootropic supplement, is a performance enhancer for athletic performance because it is excitatory in the peripheral nervous system. Whereas in the central nervous system, it is neuromodulatory, neither excitatory nor depressive. Uh, that's, it. that's it for this time. Look forward to the fourth episode next.